Right guys, thanks for joining me. So today I'm on an RSPB reserve called Middleton Lakes. So it's, this is not too far away from me. Um, it's going to have a walk around. There's a mixture of farmland. There's a stream going through a woodland here. You can see bluebells are out, the garlic's out, the dry weather's out. So yeah, we'll just have a walk around, see what we can see. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. to get some um, sights of some, uh, which I know I will because I've already heard them, uh, some black caps because I feel like they eluded me in the last video. So it's, um, you know, it's been a week or so since that video, so there should be more of them about and uh, it's a really good place for them as well. Also sedge warblers because um, they should be arriving now as well, so yeah, it'll be interesting to see, uh, see if we can get some of those and reed warblers. There's plenty to go out here anyway, especially for the warblers. A lot of reeds and uh, a lot of woodland and that, so mixed with farmland, so should be good. Should be a good variety today. There's a chance my eyes might explode with all this rapeseed about today. <laughs> so obviously it's in full flower now. I'll tell you what, it's getting warm now. So. Um, Quite interesting actually, if you look in the background, you can see there's a lot of reeds all around this place and we've I've managed to hear a, a, a bittern booming. Can't see it for love nor money, but it is there somewhere, it's really close to the, the bank that you're standing on. Um, it's just you can't get an eye an eye on it really because it's that the, it's that thick with the uh, with reeds. So it's just nice to hear. I've never heard one, never even seen one to be honest, but I've, ne I've never really gone out my way to go and find one. But it's um, it's nice to hear that, that sound, it's like a booming sound. I'll see if I can get it playing uh, through the video for you with the with the uh, audio that I got. Sorry for the wind as well, the wind's a little bit uh, it's blustery today. Here's one of the many hides and lookouts at this place. So as I entered the reserve today, I um, there's like a kind of barn area as you come in, and the barn owl just literally flew out of nowhere right onto the field parallel to the uh, kind of wooded area, and uh, managed to get a few shots. It was quite short and sweet, so I mean we'll see what we got. I'm not sure if I was on the right kind of settings but I just up the shutter speed and kind of you know see where we uh, see what we got really um, so yeah I'll put those photos on for you now hopefully there's some decent ones on there So also in this bit where I saw the uh, barn owl, uh, I don't think it's actually that that part of where we saw the barn owl is actually owned by the RSPB. I think it's just side land um, that's obviously not in use anymore. But uh, there's a lot of there's quite a little bit of rubbish around there to be honest. And I did see, and you'll see it on this next uh, this next image, um, some mud jack turned up after the barn owl had gone. And um, I managed to take a video, but just have a look at the. <laughs> The rubbish that's around them and it just shows you what nature has to put up with these days 
and um, they're not bothered by it because they're happily eating it on a uh, looks like they're eating a uh, bit of bramble or something like that but they're just surrounded by rubbish which is it's a shame to see really and obviously it doesn't 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 make for great photos you don't want to see that all around you you know your wildlife and I know uh, muntjac actually are technically uh, I don't know whether they're, they're an invasive species but they're just not native so uh, either way it's still not great to see because your native wildlife is having to put up with it as well so yeah I'll stick on the screen for you now Just had a little moment there with a uh, with a great crested grebe actually. Really, uh, I was kind of walking over this like kind of little bridge area where the water passes under, and obviously there must be some fish or something under there that he wants. Whether it's nesting materials, I'm not sure because he didn't. He, well, it didn't look like he was hunting for fish. To be fair, it looked like it was more to do with looking for materials. So um, yeah, some nice footage. Though. I just decided to do a video. I did take a couple of snaps, but um, yeah, I'll stick that on for you now. Nice little. Uh, Lovely bird, the grebe, the uh, kind of orange ombre effect on the uh, on the crest. So yeah, nice little moment. Today is the first kind of day where I feel like it's full, kind of like we're well into spring and it's like full. You can see the greenery in the background now, it just feels like it's almost, it's almost like a summer's day, it's that warm for like, for like an early spring day, it's, it's about 20 degrees and when that sun's out, it, it's nice and warm so it makes for a nice day walking around and it's not all about the photography, is it? sometimes it's just going out and seeing a load of different species and listening to them singing which is what they do best at this time of year. So, so many warblers, I've heard setis, um, reed warblers, sedge warblers, black caps, you name it, it's out here. So yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's good, good for the bird song at the moment. Just come for a little uh, break really there's a lot of walking to be done at uh, Middleton Lake so and also to be honest with these trousers I'm getting a bit hot getting a bit sweaty so uh, I'm due a break and you can hear the, the bird song in the background and I've got the river behind me um, I've got great crested grebes and kingfishers flying down the river and uh, fishing in the river so so yeah it's a nice little spot it's not that good for photography but it's just nice to take in um, all the action on the river and listen to the bird song in the background. So I just managed to get close to a uh, black cap, male black cap. Um, it kind of eluded me in the last video, so I wanted to get some decent shots. And um, got reasonably close to him, and uh, he, he was happily singing away. So should be uh, should be a couple of decent shots there. So I'll stick them on for you. But yeah, lovely song, very complex song on the black cap. So yeah, nice. I feel like I've. Uh, redeem myself from not getting a shot in the last video really of the black cap uh, they seemed a little bit more secretive in the last one 
I would like to get a female though. They always seem uh, like less frequently spotted than the male. Maybe because they're, they're sitting on eggs and stuff at this time of year perhaps. But, um, but yeah, so that's maybe one to try and get today as well. But I'm not expecting to, so yeah. So kind of as predicted really, we've seen a lot of um, different species of birds, so I'll um, probably stick in this segment some of the images I've managed to get throughout the day that I maybe haven't spoke about but that I have seen. As you probably notice, I've come back to Middleton Lakes, hence the different clothing. <laughs> um, basically, I've come back to try and get the grasshopper warblers. I heard they were here, and I've been hearing them um, this morning, so I've targeted, targeted them this morning. And I tell you what, they've been showing absolutely amazing, to be fair. They've um, been coming real close and um, on multiple perches, singing their heads off. So I will um, just wanted to add this in this video, because I felt like I'd, I should have got that in yesterday. They just weren't there, so. Yeah, I'll stick that in now. Yeah, the grasshopper warbler. So as you can see with its singing performance, the grasshopper warbler just really wanted to perform for me. It was so curious and was almost coming over to me to, to come and show me its display of singing. Now, there was another grasshopper warbler in the area and it didn't have nowhere near as much confidence to kind of come over and, and perform its song like this one did. But thankfully this one did because I don't think I would have got nowhere near as many images or as good images as, as what I managed to get and this is the first time I've ever seen a grasshopper warbler so for me it was a first and to have an experience like this where it was just around me the whole time and it wasn't bothered and it was singing in full performance in, in decent conditions it was just amazing so another bird ticked off for me that I've not seen before so I think this is where we're going to wrap the video up guys um, thanks for watching the video I hope it's not been too much of a bombardment of images from Middleton Lakes, but I'm going to be visiting again. We'll see what images I can get the second time or what we see. And thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.